Hello. How's it going today? This uh, Today's Q and Amico uh, is just going to be whatever questions uh, I get asked today while I do a little bit of glazing. I do have some test tiles to show you guys that I'm, some things I'm working on. Uh, some I might have shown you before, but uh, next week in, on Tuesday at 11.30, I'm going to be discussing Ancient Jasper. So today I am going to be glazing this cup. It is a dark firing clay called Turtle. Notice before I'm glazing, I'm using a damp, not sopping wet sponge to get any dust or anything off. Uh, I do not rinse pieces. If you rinse pieces, you may end up with um, your glaze not sticking very well, possibly crawling. If you do rinse your pieces, you need to uh, let them dry completely before you glaze. So if you're going to be glazing right away as soon as you wash off your wear, you don't want to rinse. Just use a damp sponge. So I'm using PC53 Ancient Jasper today. So do we have questions about glaze while I'm applying glaze? I'm going to move to the end screen so you can see what I'm doing, in case you're curious. So our backlog continues to decrease every week. Our shipping department is really getting uh, a lot of products out. I know that um, some of our distributors, uh, I know at least one of our distributors in the EU has gotten some glaze. I don't know which one. So why don't you guys tell me what you're working on right now. I'd love to hear it. That was a strange noise. I don't know if that picked up on the uh, video or not. The saturation on this is, is a little off. Let me see if I can adjust it. Um, because that red is looking really, really red. Nope, I can't adjust it at the moment. But this is, uh, Ancient Jasper is like a rusty iron red, not a, not a vivid fire engine red. I think that my, uh, my color filter needs to be adjusted a little bit. I'll work on that before next week. Camille says, oh, it disappeared. Wash off your wear and notice a lot of bisque bits all in the water and always allow my work to dry prior to glazing. So what about the bisque bits that come off? If you don't rinse them, would the dust affect the glaze adhering to the piece? It might. It might affect the, the glaze adhesion. Uh, you might also end up with little bits of bisque. So that's why I always sponge things off. If I'm going to rinse, I have to let things dry. So I'm going to set this aside for a moment. Ah, my brush wants to. And I'm going to scoot this out of the way so I can show you some of what I've been working on. There was another chat. Mugs, mugs, mugs. Barb is working on mugs for Christmas orders. Yeah. Lots of mugs. Uh, I have an entire cabinet that's nothing but mugs, and I only made a few of them. Most of them are from other people. So I've been trying out different uh, peacock glazing combinations. I think I showed this bowl at a pre on a, in a previous live stream. I'm not sure. 
but uh, this bowl, uh, yeah, my colors are really off. This is not quite that bright. This is dots of tourmaline, swoops of honey flux, and then the whole thing is covered in um, uh, blue stone. So those are all PC glazes. I really liked the combination. That was the tile that I did. So I had some different different combinations. This was using honey flux as a top coat for a lighter version and black aventurine for the swoops. I like that too. And then what's this one? Oh. Uh, tourmaline, honey flux swoop, and then purple crystal over the top. And it was fired to cone six. So it's more of a, a deep blue, almost like cobalt celadon, rather than, sorry, my wet sponge made the table wet, uh, more of a deep blue rather than the purple mat that we're used to seeing for purple crystal. Will it hurt glazes to freeze? Uh, well, Josie, what I found a few years ago, uh, I took a bunch of glazes and some clays and I put them in the deep freeze. Uh, and then after a few weeks, I brought them out and tested them. And what I found is that a lot of glazes will separate, but if you mix them very thoroughly, they'll be fine. Now, I don't recommend that you let your glazes freeze. Uh, our lab has said that freezing and thawing can shorten the shelf life of your gum solution. So your glazes may uh, crawl or do some odd things. Uh, if they have gotten frozen. So it may shorten their shelf life. But stirring really, really well seemed to work just fine. And by stirring really well, I mean really spending a lot of time. If you have an immersion blender, use an immersion blender on it. So they do separate and they'll, they'll do some weird things if you do not blend them very, very well after they've thawed out. Clay is the bigger issue. If, you're, if your wet clay has frozen, you're going to have to wedge it thoroughly. It's going to be pretty hard on the outside and really squishy on the outside, but you can get it back to a usable consistency. If your wet wear, like, like you've thrown a bowl and it's still wet and it freezes, however, it will fall apart when it thaws because all the water has migrated out and, the, and crystallized and it'll just kind of crumble. Uh, let's see. Uh, Linda says, quickly rinsing under a stream of water and glaze right away, right away. Never had a problem with crawling or sticking. That's good. But um, I have known people to rinse their wear and then they glaze immediately and it does crawl. So if that happens, you might want to let, let it hap, uh, give it some more time. I know that that works for a lot of people, but there's a lot of things that they'll work a little while and then they don't work. And uh, you have to be careful about some of those. Well, it's worked so far. Sometimes it will. Uh, I have glazed things without cleaning them off at all and had no trouble, but I've also glazed things that I didn't clean and they did crawl. So mm, it's not always sure which one is, which one is the, the better. Uh, what else do I have? Oh, I do have a couple other samples of the um, peacock glazing, but these, unfortunately, my tiles fused. I think I showed these a couple weeks ago. This is with black aventurine. And they're really lovely, but um, really runny. 
They are not coming off of there. I might have to use a use a pliers or something. And I'm really kind of uh, skittish about breaking things off right now because I cut myself a couple of weeks ago breaking a breaking a runny glazed piece off a kiln shelf. 15 years and it's working. Well, there you go. Um, and Camille says it could possibly depend on the cone bisque. It could depend on the glaze. It could depend on a lot of things. It could um, depend on your glazes. Uh, but if you're doing a lot of glazing and your glazes are relatively fresh and you're using brushing glazes, they'll stick pretty well most of the time. Uh, what else have we got going on today? Any concerns on food safety on the bowls with the peacock method with PC glazes? I have had that question before. And uh, it is up to you as to whether you are concerned or not. Um, there, are, there is no lead or cadmium in the glazes that I'm using. So I'm not using anything that uses a lead or cadmium, which is what uh, the F FDA asks us to test for. Um, as for uh, other concerns, the glazes that I've been using have been pretty stable. And you'll notice that I try to keep it on the upper edges. But um, if you're worried, so we don't, we don't, food, we don't test any layered combinations. So I can't say, no, it's not food safe. I can't say, yes, it is food safe. What I can tell you is that I haven't found any concern, any surface concerns. There's no crazing on this. Um, I have one little blister, but it, it's not, uh, it's, it's just a little one. And uh, most of my combos have not had any blistering at all. So that part does not concern me. Uh, as for layered combinations for other things, you can test your own combos and uh, uh, have them tested by a lab. I will say that m people often are layering glazes that they mix in a studio or are in the club studio or classroom and they're frequently layering things and not only are those layered combos not tested but the individual glazes are almost never tested either. Uh, they're with the knowledge I have of these glazes I'm not concerned. I'm not saying that you shouldn't be. It is up to you as the manufacturer of wares as to whether you feel that you can do this. If you are concerned about layering combinations, you can do them on the outside. I've done the peacock glazing on faces and it looks really dramatic. You just have to be careful to keep it on the upper surfaces. Uh, but yes, I have been asked that question about these before. And I'll also tell you that all glaze uh, companies say the same thing. We do not test layered combinations. So it is up to you as the uh, finished, as the maker of the finished wear to do any testing. We test the individual glazes, uh, but like I said, I'm not concerned about the, the layered combos because I know that they do not contain any lead or cadmium. And I'm not using the metallic glazes that can change a lot when they come into contact with food like uh, palladium is not food safe. So let's see, I'm going to get one more coat on this. And then I think that may be it. Do we have other questions on food safety? I know that's a question we get a lot. When I was first in college was when people were starting to become aware of this, the dangers of lead. And 
so instead of using raw lead glazes, uh, there was a move towards using fritted lead glazes. Um, but at this point, we don't even use fritted lead. Lead in any form is not used. But I have books from when I was in college that are uh, that have formulas using sometimes raw lead and sometimes fritted lead. And um, yeah, they make gorgeous glazes, but I'm not going to use them. But uh, the more we know, uh, the better. So that is my three coats for today for that. Uh, uh, Misty asked, what color am I using? This is Ancient Jasper. So this is going to be next week's, um, next week's live stream on Tuesday. I'll be talking about Ancient Jasper, so I'm glazing this cup. And uh, Linda asks, will Amico Glaze Workshops be offered anytime in the near future? I do not know of any workshops that we're offering right now. We're starting to get back for the first time since 2019. We're starting to get back to doing uh, uh, teacher conferences. So the state teacher conferences are going on right now. And we're starting to get back into doing those. I know that we will have uh, artists and demonstrations at uh, INSECA and NAEA in the spring. But I don't know about uh, I don't know about any specific workshops. Sharon asks if this glaze is a runner. A little bit. It does run a little bit. So I didn't go all the way down to the very bottom on the third coat. Uh, I can't pick it up at the moment. But the 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 third coat only went to about this far from the bottom. So there's two glazes, uh, two, two coats all the way down, and then three coats stop just a little bit before the bottom. Uh, Camille asks, is there any chance that the sprays will come back? Uh, I do not know when the sprays will come back, but I anticipate they will be back someday. I just don't know when. So um, stay tuned. As soon as I know if they're going to come back or not, I will let you all know. But at this point, I just don't have that information. So uh, are there any last questions for, for me today before I sign off? Uh, and it was great to, to chat. I'd like to start doing this weekly uh, starting in January. But for now, it's going to be alternating weeks. If you would prefer that I do it alternating weeks, that's great. If you prefer that I do it weekly, that's fine. I'll just be doing a little bit of whatever I'm working on at the moment and show you what, I'm, what I've got. And uh, let's see, make sure that I, yep, uh, make sure that I have everything. But I really uh, appreciate coming and chatting with you guys. And thanks for joining me. I'll see you again next week. Tuesday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time, where I'm going to be talking about specifically Ancient Jasper. In the meantime, this is going to be the venue for asking more general questions about what's going on, and uh, I will see you all next week. Have a great afternoon.